Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Thursday evening prayer hub. A huge welcome to all of our St. Mark's family churches and to whoever else is tuning in to pray with us tonight. You're so, so welcome. Also want to say a big happy St. Patrick's week. Uh, I know yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, but it would be wrong of me to uh, not mention the great man himself, the one who is credited for bringing so much of Jesus and Christianity to our shores years and years ago. Uh, and we're going to be praying some of Patrick's prayers uh, later on. Before we do that, we're going to go into a time of worship. And uh, I want to open up with uh, Psalm 139, um, where it says, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And for this I praise you. Your works are wonderful. This I know well. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. There's so much that we get to praise God for. We get to praise God for his creation. We get to praise God because he's God. But the psalmist here in Psalm 139 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I just wondered tonight as we open up with a time of praise, when was the last time you praised God for your life? That you praise God because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you may be thinking, I don't feel like I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't feel, I'm not here to judge, I can't. What I can say is that I know the value that God has placed on all of our lives, on your life and my life, and that is his son Jesus. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son. And so if Jesus came in order to rescue you and to rescue me, because he values us that much, then I believe we can say, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And so I want to encourage you tonight as we just open up this time of prayer with a time of praise, just to begin to praise God for all he has done, all he has won, but also for your very life, the very breath that God has given you, to use that breath to bring glory to his name. Then I'm going to come back in a moment and I'll lead you in tonight's prayer focus. So God bless you as you lift up the name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen, amen, amen. Father, thank you for this night. Again, we want to thank you for the gift of worship, Lord God. We want to thank you for your presence. We want to thank you, Lord God, just even again for Psalm 139. We can praise you because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We can praise you for all that you have done and all that you have won. And we can praise you simply because you, O oh Lord, are God Almighty. And you deserve all of the honour, all of the praise and all of the worship. And so we bless your name, Jesus. We even invite you into this prayer time, Lord God. Begin to put on our hearts prayers and prophecies and words, Lord God, so that we can pray out into our nation that which is already in your heart, Lord God. And we, we ask for your spirit to move in greater measure in our lives, in our church and in our nation. In Jesus' name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. So guys, tonight I really felt, it being St. Patrick's week, yesterday being St. Patrick's Day, that we would pray for Ireland. I know every Thursday we finish off praying God bless our nation, God bless Ireland, from the north to the south and the east to the west. But tonight I wanted to focus on praying for our, our nation, praying for Ireland. And I want to pray specifically for the churches in Ireland. And I don't just mean our church, and I don't just mean our denomination. I mean every church that has the Lord Jesus as their Lord. Every Bible-believing, Spirit-filled church. I want to pray, I want us to pray for unity within the body of Christ. And the, the, the scriptures are clear. Psalm 133 says, Where brothers dwell in unity, God commands a blessing. And so I believe when churches are in unity, and, and, and that means that we are speaking well of each other, we're blessing each other, we're encouraging each other as churches. We're lifting up the name of Jesus rather than lifting up our own names. And that's, I believe, a unity that the church can strive for. That we would be not impressed or not about our own names but about his name and so there would be unity in our worship unity in our declaration of him there would be unity in spirit and so we're going to pray for unity in our churches because where there's unity where brothers and sisters dwell in unity God will command a blessing and we want God to bless our nation and so we're going to pray for unity within the church and um, we're also going to pray for righteousness uh, again, the scripture says righteousness exalts a nation. So we're going to pray for our government, those who are in authority, those who are in power in Dal Aaron, that God would raise up men and women of righteousness. Because again, the scripture, the word of God says righteousness exalts a nation. And so we're going to pray for the guys in power, that they would be making righteous decisions. Right, right decisions, good decisions, godly decisions, and that God would raise men and women up in the offices of Antishok, Tarnishta, the different uh, TDs, that God would give them wisdom and that God's spirit would, would fill them and that they would know him, they would know Jesus and know the love of God and know the salvation of God and know the grace of God. Because again, we want to pray in accordance with the scriptures, righteousness will exalt a nation. And finally, guys, we want to pray for God's spirit to be poured out from the north to the south, to the east to the west. And again, we know that the scripture says that uh, uh, that, that God's spirit would be poured out in the latter days and our, and our young men and women would dream dreams and our old men and women would see visions. Uh, and we want to pray for God to pour out his spirit. There's a prophecy uh, in, in Ezekiel where um, Ezekiel is talking to God, or God is talking to Ezekiel and there's a valley of dry bones. And God says, Ezekiel, can these bones live? And Ezekiel says, God, only you know. And, and God says to Ezekiel, prophesy prophesy that these bones will live and again i believe that's something god wants his church to begin to do to prophesy over our communities where there might be a dryness in regards to christianity in regards to knowing jesus in regards to the spirit of god that we would prophesy to these dry this dryness where god would pour out his spirit and streams of living water would flow in every village, in every town, in every city, and all through this land, that there would be a, a revival, and I mean that in the purest of sense, a, a revival of people coming to know God, and coming to know his love and his grace. And so we're gonna pray for the Holy Spirit of God to move and to be poured out in our nation at this time. God bless you as you pray into these 
uh, prayer points. I believe God is going to anoint these prayers and God is going to answer these prayers. I'm going to come back in a moment and I'll close out this time in prayer in a moment. God bless you as you pray.
Father, I want to thank you for this night, Lord God. I want to thank you for Ireland, Lord God. I want to thank you for all of the churches in our nation, Lord God. I want to thank you for all of the pastors, the, the reverends, the, the priests, Lord God. I want to thank you for all of the men and women of God who are leading the congregations. And I pray you would bless them, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that you would continue to fill them with your Holy Spirit. Lead and guide our pastors and our leaders, Lord God, at this time, Lord God. We pray for the church, Lord God, and we pray for unity in the body of Christ, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that there would be just such a great sense of your spirit moving in every congregation, Lord God, in every town, in every village, in every city, Lord God, that your church, Lord God, would begin to rise up and speak truth and grace Lord God, begin to, 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 to speak about you, Jesus. Begin to sing about you, Jesus. Pray, Father God, for just a great sense of blessing in your church, Lord God, in these days, Lord God. We pray, God, that you would uh, continue to pour out your spirit in your church, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Again, Lord God, we pray for our government, Lord God, and we thank you, Father God, for the government in these days, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for every single man and woman, Lord God, who has been um, elected in, Lord, and we pray, bless them in Jesus' name, Lord God. We pray, Father God, you would give them wisdom, Lord. Your word says when we lack wisdom, that we should ask of God. And so, God, we ask for wisdom, godly wisdom for our politicians, God. And we pray that you would bless them, bless their families, Lord God, bless their marriages, Lord God, bless their children, Lord God. We speak life over our government lord god we pray god that they would know your love and they would know your grace and they would know your salvation that they would know your voice above every other voice that is trying to come and distract them lord god we pray that they would hear your voice and that you're leading and that you would um bless them in the decisions lord that righteousness would exalt the nation lord god and so we pray for um right decisions godly decisions lord god from our government, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Finally, Lord, we pray, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on this nation, Lord God. We are so grateful for men like St. Patrick. But Lord, we pray, God, for men and women of this generation to be filled with your Holy Spirit, to be anointed by God, to be set apart by God for such a time as this, Lord God. And so we pray, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on this nation. Bring about a revival like we have never seen before, Lord God. We pray, Father God, for the dryness that, Lord, you would pour out your Spirit and it would cause rivers of living water to well up, Lord God. We pray for praise and worship to rise up in every village, in every town, in every city, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for men and women and families to come to know you, Jesus, to come to know the love of God and the grace of God and the salvation of God that is found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so, Lord, we pray for our nation at this time that, God, you would bless this nation Bless Ireland on this St. Patrick's week, Lord God. Yes, they've been St. Patrick's Day. Bless Ireland from the north to the south and from the east to the west. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Guys, before we go, I just want to pray this. And I want you to pray with me. And we're going to just pray a portion of St. Patrick's uh, prayer. Uh, what's known as St. Patrick's breastplate and I just want to encourage you to maybe close your eyes um, maybe just even lift up your hands uh, 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 we're, we're just I believe God we're going to receive something from God tonight and so I just want you to close your eyes and, and just pray this with me we're going to pray a portion of it and it simply is this Christ is with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right and Christ on my left. Christ when I lie down and Christ when I sit down. Christ when I arise. Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me and Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Lord, we just pray, Jesus, that you would surround us and fill us. And Jesus, it would continually be all about you. 
our lives would be for you Lord God our words would be about you our eyes would be seeing you our ears would hear you Lord God and so we pray God that you would bless bless us Lord God with more of you and less of us in our lives in Jesus name amen amen guys thank you so much for joining with us tonight uh, I pray that God blesses you if you're a teenager uh, or you know a teenager don't forget our youth group is tomorrow night uh, Friday night uh, you can find the links on our or find the information on our social media site and um, also guys Sunday is coming and so can't wait to see you online 10 a.m. Uh, share the link be there at 10 a.m. comment in the comment boxes uh, give your likes your love hearts uh, let's try to be as present as possible in a physically distant world but uh, I know you're going to be blessed on Sunday with God's word and as we lift up his name together so have a great weekend and God bless guys